my name is Anna Itor and I'm a lecturer at the University at the School of Civil Mining and Environmental Engineering. I finished uh, my doctorate in 2013 um, and I've been uh, a lecturer since then at the university. Um, I, my research focuses on the behavior of compacted materials um, and by saying that, that incorporates um, mat materials like soil, uh, and I, uh, during my PhD, I specialized particularly on the behavior of compacted soil and different compaction states and how that does reflect in terms of performance, say, uh, for the structures that underline roads and rail. And more recently, I've been looking at also compacted materials, but more from a sustainable point of view. So rather than using soil or other natural aggregates that we can explore from quarries, uh, we then look at using waste materials typically that originate from local industries uh, such as the um, mining of coal or the steel industry here locally. So I've been working on the um, uh, compacted soil um, performance but rather than just looking at it from a holistic point of view, I've been looking at it from a wetting and drying point of view. So looking at, say, for example, uh, current uh, uh, um, climate episodes where the structures are exposed to heavy rainfall or heavy or uh, long periods of drought. So how does that climatic uh, um, uh, changes influence the structures? And I believe it is important because once you have these drastic, drastic uh, changes, um, one of the most important thing is to maintain transport infrastructure visibility. I was born to a, an engineer, so my father is, a, is an engineer, so from the day I was a, a young girl, he was always encouraging me to um, to not be um, uh, worried about being a gendered biased profession. Um, I think what it always fascinated me about engineering is because you use the knowledge to solve problems. So typically we're looking at uh, uh, things that exist, exist in the society and looking at my research from the point of view. So we have bad performing uh, transport infrastructure or we have uh, we are consuming resources to go about our daily activities as a society so how can we make it smaller how can we make or in, uh, improve our environmental footprint or how can we make it more effective and uh, the infrastructure more sustainable mm -hmm.